weaponizing mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. Pardon my ignorance, what is the disease you described, the other one? Rickettsia? It, so, so it's a rickettsia. It is uh, the same organism that causes Rocky Mountain spotted fever, and that's the most deadly tick-borne disease in the United States. It also was a germ that was being weaponized by the um, the U.S. military at the time, and and they tried to stuff it in ticks. I mean, so what is tick weaponization? So in the interviews... Hmm. Coming from where? The military. Watch this. Interviews with Willie, what he said was, I spent over a decade in the biological weapons program, a contractor to Fort Detrick, um, working on uh, weaponizing fleas, ticks, and mosquitoes, trying to mass produce them, stuffing fleas with the plague, uh, stuffing mosquitoes with deadly Trinidad virus, Trin Trinidad virus, and then stuffing ticks with either deadly or incapacitating, hassipating diseases like relapsing fever, Venezuelan equine encephalitis, rabies, uh, leptospirosis, which is another spirochete. So it's just... Imagine you're bitten and you get rabies. And you're wondering, but I didn't come across any wild beast in the forest, in the field. You were bitten by one of these parasites that were genetically modified in the actual laboratory. Now, this was aired several months back. I want you to realize one of the viruses mentioned in this interview and what is current and trending right now. The triple E, watch this again. Maybe you missed it. Some of you caught it, watch. Virus, and then stuffing ticks with either deadly or incapacitating, hassipating diseases like relapsing fever, Venezuelan equine encephalitis. Equine encephalitis. Equine encephalitis. One more time. Say it with me. Equine encephalitis. What's, what's trending right now? Watch this. Oxford, Massachusetts, and three neighboring towns have a reason for concern as mosquitoes carrying a potentially deadly virus called Eastern Equine Encephalitis, or Triple E. What? Now, in that interview, it was weaponized by the military. What's trending right now? Venezuela, equine encephalitis. This, this one, Eastern equine encephalitis, triple E. No cure. Incurable, they're telling us. Signs of the last days. So where are these things coming from? And they're blaming climate change. Wake up, people. This is a nail in their coffin. It's just like Dr. Strangelove uh, trying to make new diseases, mixing bacteria and virus in ticks with the intent of this is the perfect stealth weapon. It's poor, poor man's nuke. You drop these insects on an enemy. It weakens the population. It ties up the medical resources, but doesn't destroy infrastructure like a nu nuclear bomb would. And in one report from a bean counter in the military, they said uh, tularemia, which is tick-borne tularemia, also rabbit fever, we can kill 10,000 people at $1.33 a life. So anyways, it was just, uh, there was more. Did you catch that? How much are we worth? $1.33. Uh, tularemia, which is tick-borne tularemia, also rabbit fever. We can kill 10,000 people at $1.33 a life. So anyways, it was and just. this is happening in the U.S. and around the world. The military. Mad scientists, the merchants, Babylon.